Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today I'm pumped because I mentioned about two weeks ago when I was in Nashville, I got this random text on my texting app that I used to message everybody. So if you have not texted me yet, links are down below or numbers are down below, you can text me. And I, I received this text message that said, hey, I found your song. I was wondering if we could feature it on the news channel. They're an NBC-related news channel uh, for the Memphis area. And they're like, we're doing this special for um, Patriot's Day, or Patriot Day, which is 9-10, September 10th, the day before. Actually, no, I'm sorry. They So they were airing it on 9-10, but it was for Patriot's Day on 9-11 in, in memory of all the, the people that lost their lives and the, the, the tragedy of 9-11. And I was like so honored because they wanted to use my song, My Hero, and they wanted to interview me on the news for My Hero. Um, so I, what I did is I stayed up really late the night before, and now I'm in California, and I, I edited this whole music video for it, uh, a first responder style video. And then I sent them that video, and they interviewed me. It was like, because of the time difference, it was I was up like so early, and the interview was so early. But this is my first time seeing how it came out. I have no idea what it's going to look like. So that being said, we're going to get a first reaction, I guess you would call it, to my interview on my first time being on the news. So let's see what we got. I'm really curious. You know, today is a day that we are all reflecting and looking back on 9-11. But there's also a tribute for many of our first responders, and it is in the form of of a song written by a very busy singer and songwriter. <laughs> and he did. Ain't that the truth, a very busy singer songwriter. <laughs> what he does best for those who come running to help us all out when we are in need the most. Here to share his song, Hero. In my I hotel room. Look at my, I'm like shot, man. Look how like shot I am. It's uh, it, it like, so it was like, I had to get up at like 5 a.m. The, the, I like the first preliminary interview, make sure I was like alive was like at 6.30 a.m. And I think this was around 7 a.m. Meanwhile, I had gone to bed at like somewhere between like 12, around 12, 30 and one o'clock the night before. Welcome, Jacob Restituto. Welcome to Bluff City Life. How are you this afternoon? Hey, how are you? How you guys doing? I appreciate you having me on. Thank you for coming in to share this uh, beautiful song. Uh, Jacob, before we went on, I know, and I said to you, I know you <laughs> live with a hero. So was it easy for you to then sit down and write this song? Oh, uh, it's funny. They had me put in New York, but I was really in Cali at the time. Um, one thing that frustrated me, not necessarily frustrated me, but like I was bummed about was the fact that like I have, have this whole studio set up, this beautiful studio, and I wasn't in my studio for it. Like, I wish that I, the Zoom call that they had for me was like, I was, I just wish the timing was different because like, here I am using my laptop computer screen, having to figure out lighting in, in my hotel room, the audio from my AirPods. Where like, meanwhile, we have this whole setup here. I was like, oh man, it would have been so much better. But alas, you did the best you can. I did the best I could. I think that the concept was always there. It's, you know, I wanted to write this concept. The concept of the song was always you know, in my head, but once you try to start to sit down, it's like all those concepts kind of leave. It's like, okay, how do I tell the truth <laughs> while, you know, being heartfelt and not cliche or, you know, or, 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 or like. I'm frustrated because I also felt like they, so th I was so confused at how the, the setup of this worked because they like started the conversation. I, I they opened the Zoom call and I thought it was live already because she started asking me all these questions. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we're live. So I started answering all these questions and then she's like, okay, we're about to go live. And she reacts a lot of the questions. Um, and this, I'm bummed because I feel like the first time I answered the questions, I answered them really well. The second time, I feel like I kind of stumbled around my answers. It's it's hard, I think, personally, to tell the truth in songwriting. I, I'm always so impressed with songwriters that. You know, especially, I mean, even when you talk of like going with Lin-Manuel Miranda with the, the play Hamilton, right? The musical Hamilton, how he tells the truth or these rappers that tell their truth, right? Yeah. I find that so difficult because you actually have to stick to a script, you know, whereas in, if you're writing like fictional songwriting, which is nothing wrong with, I think that's great. I personally find that so much harder because I'm so much easier um, because you can, you don't have to, you know, if you're 300 miles away from somebody, you know, 300 is a hard word to rhyme, you know, you, but you could, you know, make it your own you if it's 22 it. miles. Cause, <laughs> exactly. So I had the concept for this song, but the actual sitting down and writing it is like, okay, how do I tell this with, you know, in, in a way that can be the best delivered to an audience? I wish I delivered that answer a little better. <laughs> I feel like I could have done a better job with and that. 
I was like all when over you the place. are sitting down and you are putting your thoughts and your words on paper are you writing for yourself are you writing for a particular artist that you would love to sing that particular song or are you just making sure that you are speaking the truth that's a great question i typically write for myself and my own music um I mean, there are songs that I could see, oh, like, you know, other here. artists you know, cunning one day. But I mean, I, I love the idea of, you know, me personally, you know, perform my own tracks I, or but hey, man, if anybody wants to cover them, go for it. Like, I love that concept. <laughs> but um, I, I try to be as exactly right. <laughs> I try cool. to be as true as I can in my songwriting and, and while also being relevant to the time, but also being, you know, true to the, the genre and the feel that I like going for. And Jacob, why release it now? Why wouldn't you release it five years after 9-11? Why release it at this time? Yeah, so actually, it, it's a broad spectrum of a song. So to the, give the actual backstory of the song, I wrote it back in, I want to say, May, early May uh, uh, of 2021. And actually, so because my wife is a, is a, um, a nurse. And um, after the whole coronavirus and everything, or like oh, well, the, and the height of it that we were going through, uh, she, she, we wrote, I wrote this song because I wanted to, you know, say that she and all those people. Dude, I like, I feel like I look so nervous and like, I usually don't get nervous with this stuff. And that bothered me of how nervous I was like, after we end this interview, I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like this could have went so much better. That were involved, including the firemen and the, the policemen were all incredibly um, brave for what they did. And I, but with the concept of, it wasn't just for nurses, you know, I wrote it for to my wife, but I wanted to write it yeah. broad enough that it could be for doctors, for 9/11 responders, for any 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 first responder, EMT. You know, it's it's all not all heroes wear capes and fly. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Thank you so very much, and I'm sure your wife is going to give you the best husband <laughs> of the year award for this song. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so very much for joining us today, Jacob. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And next on Bluff City Life, I want you to get a bite of this sensational Rotel spinach dip. There it's you the go. recipe that has gone viral, and I'm putting it to the taste test. That's coming up next. But first, we got to hear that song. Busy shifts, you're coming home to your first meal since only God knows when. Tomorrow, you'll do it again. They say that superheroes are in truth That's all I see when I look at you Give of yourself every day More than a mile you go all the way That's pretty and cool That's a proud miracle You're always there You love the hug man <laughs> I wanted you to know They say that superheroes are Oh wow, they, they cut the two in half, interesting. That's cool. And the music video and the lyric video. Is that the end of the video? I guess so. That's cool, man. There you go. Jacob Restituto on the news. That is very, very wild. So uh, that's cool, man. I, like I said, I guess I just, I wish I was a little more like, I need, I, I, I feel like I needed to listening back. And I guess it's, this is the benefit. I kind of wish I concised my answers a little bit. Cause I feel like I was just kind of all over the place. Um, and I guess to be honest, not that taking notes now for myself, when I conduct interviews, I can see how it would be more beneficial to send the, the artists that I interview uh, the questions, at least the general idea of questions beforehand, so they can kind of conduct their, their thoughts and have more concise answers and lead to a better uh, interview. The person that interviewed me was incredibly nice. I definitely I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a blast. So I'm looking forward to doing many, many more of these, but it's it's pretty wild. So very, very cool. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to doing more. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the track My Hero, there's two versions. There's an acoustic version that we wrote. Actually, shout out to all the people that helped me write it on live stream. Actually, the first verse and the first half of the course were written on live stream here uh, a couple months ago. So thank you for everybody that was involved. And then we made the full band version that I released a week later. 
Uh, I like the full band version, but they're both total vibes. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and peace out.